Hello everyone and welcome back to more Read Only Memories. So we are in the Stardust Club looking to meet up with Tomcat who is Hayden's contact that he was supposed to meet with before he disappeared. And I decided that we would start looking at the bar and see if there's anything interesting. Looks like there is a lot to click on over here, um, like this poster. Oh, we have the headphones, can we use those? The film trailer starts to play, but it's designed more like a commercial adver advertisement to consumerist. Still, it's pretty cool that you can just use headphones on a movie poster and load the trailer. Trying to sabotage the struggling indie film industry, eh? Always, right? <laughs> um, what about my ID card? Careful, you'll get charged for tickets to the film. Oh wow, that's so cool. I wish we had stuff like this, it would be so badass. Okay. Red World, an indie flick premiering in the Castro Theatre. Can we take the poster? Don't steal that poster, that would be super rude. Super. Okay, what else can we click on? Well, we can click on the bartender, but I kind of want to do that last. But if we hover over him, we get this lovely portrait of him. Okay, let's see what drinks we have. A random glass of whiskey. It's a shot of whiskey. It's not yours. But can I take it? <laughs> that is the question. Listening to a glass of whiskey isn't very fun. What about pouring milk in it? Even the finest whiskey on the planet wouldn't decrease the chances of such a mixture becoming a national crisis. Oh, I miss this game and its fun descriptions for everything. You hold your ID card up to the glass. Bloop, it's someone else's. Okay, but can I take it? Don't drink drinks that aren't yours. I suppose it could be spiked, and that's a very good lesson. Don't just take random drinks that you don't know where they came from. Okay, guys, you've learned a life lesson here. Right, let's look at the chair. It's a chair. Can we pour milk on the chair? This is not a funny prank. Would you want to sit in that? No, but that's the fun of it. There isn't much to listen to, just a lot of ass. <laughs> Interesting, okay, so can we use the chair? It's not even a spinny chair, it only looks like one. So it's, it's actually facing away from the bar because that's what it looks like. In which case that's incredibly unhelpful. We have some posters here on the bottom to check out as well. Again, I'm sorry that I want to check everything out, but this game has such amazing flavor text that I just can't leave it alone. Okay. The poster for the band Zazen, one of the more popular live acts here in the city. Okay, can we do things with it? It's not worth it to use the energy needed to bend low enough to scan the poster of a band like Zazen. So I take it they're not very good then. There's a free song preview attached to the poster. Better not listen too long though. Posters like this charge if you listen past 30 seconds. Interesting though. Okay. Scrap Brain, a new single by Zazen, sponsored by Arena Box. Well, they have a lot of Zazen stuff down here. Okay, can we pour milk on it? Don't touch it with your ID, they'll charge you for the song. That's incredibly useful. You may not like the band, but that's no reason to ruin their poster. But can I listen? Scrap Brain, the new single by Zazen, starts to play loudly. This is so <laughs> I wish we had all of this stuff, it would be so good be so much more convenient. Okay, a poster with a face on it. It's a poster ad for the new art exhibit at New Drive in the Fillmore District. Okay. Comparing your picture to the face on the poster. Uh, I don't see why not. <laughs> I can, so I might as well. Um, can I take the poster? Careful, it's kind of cute there. Is it? It just looks kind of creepy to me. Okay, and we have one final poster to look at. A flyer for Zone 3, a new arcade about to open in Japantown. Ooh, that sounds interesting to me. Can I do anything with it? You swipe your ID and a pop-up asks if you'd like to exchange your credits for some quarters. <laughs> I like this so much. There's such, like, there's such awesome ideas. Wonder what's older, the arcade machines or that vile milk? And finally we can listen. You touch the poster and add plays for Zone 3. Come down to Japantown and relive experiencing all your favourite retro classics. Only at Zone 3, opening next summer. Can I take it? 
I've saved the location to my memory. Let's go once it opens. Oh, thank you, Turing. That's so incredibly useful. I do love you. You are such a cutie. Right, so we can interact with the bartender finally. A gruff looking man holds down the bar. He seems friendly enough, given his size. Oh, I didn't mean to. <laughs> I don't know what I was doing there. Can I use milk on him? No outside drinks, and that just barely counts as one. Oh, <laughs> I'm really struggling to click on this guy. You look great in this picture. What happened? Just kidding. Oh, for a second I was like, oh, aren't you a sweetie? But I guess you're actually not a sweetie. I'm going to touch you. Please don't punch me. Reaching over the bar like that comes off pretty threatening. I guess so. <laughs> I just wanted to stroke his face. He looks... He, his beard looks like it would be nice to touch. Hey friend, what can I do for you? I was wondering if I could ask you a few questions. Sure, but first, let's get you a drink. What'll it be? He seems like a really nice guy. Uh, okay, I don't know what any of these are. Groggy Nog. TMF Antarctic Harvest. Ingredients and Ratios. Cur Royale. Fucking IDK. <laughs> PT Bears Winter Teeny. Core Appeal. Scotch Drop and Roll. Modest Connie. Canopy. Netherworld Wiener Juice. Raddy Master. Wiener Juice doesn't sound very good. Maple This Off. Persian June. Mo Sugar Rush. Duggies and Creme. Gut Punch. Michelada. Onyx Rum. Blue Fairy. Clumsy Belarusian. Green Tea. Wolf Bite Shot. Power Play. So many drinks. <coughs> sickly, sickly Sky. Sunshine Cloud. Rusty Nail. Drinking Game. Buzzer. Tokyo Tea. Natasha Allegri, Spicy Gentleman, Hassy Spike, Bionic Femme, Subtle Bitch. <laughs> oh, I like that name. <laughs> Whiskey, that's like the only normal sounding one. Seven Minutes, Den Svenska's Bjorn Stammen, Sazerac, Blue Boy, Fluffy Dream, Garibaldi, Butch Flower, Beer, Sober Chauffeur. <laughs> How many drinks? Like, seriously. Air drink, taste like orange, rusted lace, sour apple teeny, whiskey Rita, Antarctic harvest. Okay, I think we're going round again. Yeah, we are. Okay, uh, I want, I want a subtle bitch, wherever that is. I just really like the name. Where is it? I've got to go all the way through again now. Spicy gentleman. Let's go with a subtle bitch. So many drinks these days. Reminds me, what's in that? Drinktionary, the free and open alcoholopedia, says whipped cream, vodka, strawberry liqueur, creme de menthe, and soda water. That actually sounds super nice. Does subtle bitch sound good? Well, yeah, sure, why not? I'm not going to go through every single drink and find out the ingredients. This actually leads into Valhalla pretty nicely, which I do want to play afterwards. In case you don't know what that game is, it's like a bartender style thing. It's based in the same universe and some of those drinks actually sound really familiar from it. Huh, alright, you got it. Coming right up. A subtle bitch served. Now, what is it you need to know? Um, could you tell me more about yourself? Wink wink, nudge nudge. Um, I'm meeting a tomcat. Let's go with that one. I'm pretty sure I saw Tomcat coming earlier, but I don't know where they went off to. I'd ask what you were meeting about, but I know they like to keep that kind of stuff quiet. Maybe try looking out on the dance floor? If they come around over here, I'll tell them someone's looking. Um, Let's ask about Hayden. Hayden? Older guy does some kind of computer work at Parallax? I think I know who you're talking about. Don't know a thing about him being missing, though. He comes in here every couple of weeks, hangs out at the bar and chats with people. Typical stuff. Doesn't really seem like a scene, but I think he comes in to scout young programming talent. I can ask around, find out if anyone has seen him lately. I'll let you know. That's very helpful. Thank you, Mr. Bartender Man. Uh, tell me more about yourself. Why not? Oh, <laughs> I should introduce myself. The name's Majid. 
I've been manning the bar at Stardust for longer than I'd like to admit, and owned it a little bit longer than that. Um, don't, uh, let's go with, what did you do before Stardust? Mostly got myself into trouble. When I emigrated from Pakistan, I didn't have a whole lot of employable skills. But I'm really big, I'm real big and know how to crack skulls, so that's what I did. Fair. In the end, I guess I wasn't cut out for that line of work, and after one close shave too many, I got out. I had enough cash saved up to buy this place, which was a hole at the time. The rest is history. <laughs> I'm sure it sounds more exciting than it was. Don't places like this come and go in a flash? That's true, and it was true about the Stardust. The first six months were great, but after that, interest dried up, and the kids moved on to the next big thing. But... I suppose I'm just a stubborn guy and kept throwing good money after bad. Ha! <laughs> after two years, things started to pick back up again. We got some regulars around. They started bringing in enough new folks and it reached critical mass pretty quick. Yeah, it became retro and everybody was interested again, I guess. Well, it was nice meeting you, but I've got to go back to work. I'll keep an eye out for Tomcat and send them your way if I see them. Good luck. Well, he was a very friendly man. I really enjoyed talking to him. I guess let's go look on the dance floor then. See if we can't find Tomcat. Uh, we have a few people over here. You, I know you are in the in the sign for the actual game, so you must be pretty important. So I guess I will leave you for last. Because why not? Okay, we've got an arcade. Oh, we've got a lot of stuff to look at then. Maybe... I don't know where to start. <laughs> That's just too much. A stanchion. This is the barrier between the arcade and the VIP section. Apparently being isolated far away from the bar, dance floor and video games makes you important somehow. Yeah, you don't get to do any of the fun stuff. Right, what's this? A megaphobata. It's an arcade cabinet, megaphobata. Only the most ghost shooting s school blasting is fun you'll ever have this side of the bay. That sounds like an okay scene. You'll destroy much more than the ghosts with that. What about the headphones? Not a good idea. The headphones radiation could screw with the logic board inside the game cabinet. And if that happens, the unexplainable will transpire. I want to know what that means. <laughs> well, I guess we could see if we can play it. Um, let's scan our ID to play Megaphobata. Oh, sweet. So we can actually play the arcade cabinet. Well, that's fun. Uh, oh, this reminds me of this reminds me of Snatchers because there's a very similar kind of shooting thing in that game. And that's a really old school game as well. Um, I might actually play that in the future as well because it's a pretty sweet adventure game from the Sega CD sort of times. At least that's where I played it from. Anyway, this is a nice little bit of fun here. Oh, these ghosts are adorable. So sweet. Okay. Oh, sweet, I kicked butt there. Hooray, you survived and got a score of 41,800. Fantastic effort. I thought you were a goner near the end. That was super easy though. Do I not get anything for doing that? Oh well. It was fun while it lasted, I suppose. Right, who's this guy? This punk doesn't look too into what they're playing. Can I use my spoiled milk on him? That would be a terrible power-up. Oh, so he is paying attention to me somewhat. Hey, you don't have to pay to play these. Um, can I touch you? Hands off the joystick, buzzer. Let's talk to him. Hey, have you checked out Megaphobata? Heard the machine was donated to Stardust recently, but it's been having problems since it got here. It seemed fine when I played it. Hey, something doesn't seem right once you get to the boss, you know? But I just played it. <laughs> it seemed absolutely fine. Oh well, <laughs> whatever. Right, so let's see what's going on over here then. These fancy tables have little touch screens where you can order drinks from the bar and browse the mesh. Okay. You slide your ID on the table and a drink menu pops up. 
Oh god, I don't want to go through the drinks menu again. That's too much. Don't leave it there. Someone might think it's safe to drink. That's the idea. Okay, uh... A drink menu is constantly being read out. That's really useful for people that are blind. You don't have anything good to put on it or under it. I guess that's going to be like the braille of the future. They'll just have headphones that can read you the menu. Hello there. They look really hyped. Okay. Don't need those to dance in. Let's dance you. What's that smell? Your pick there is hella cute. Come dance with me, Peppa. I guess I, I could. All right, let's dance in. Why are you saying that? That's grammatically incorrect. Um, do you go by Tomcat? Okay, have you heard of anyone named Tomcat? Oh, Tomcat, yeah. I think I was dancing with a person by that name a bit ago. No idea where they are now. Try checking the bar. They've got some wicked drinks, by the way. Yes, I've already had extensive reading of their drinks menu. They're really into dancing right now. Okay, can I pour my milk on them? Ew. Why did you bring that here? That's a good point. <laughs> Why did I? Hey, Peppa, you wanna dance? Okay. That's a sweet pair of headphones. I shouldn't be really be showing them to everyone in case someone, you know, decides to steal them. Hey, what's up? Having a good time? Uh, I was wondering if you know anyone named Tomcat. Nah, sorry. Never heard of him. You should check the bar. I've already done that. I don't need to go back there. I think it's probably this person. They have cat ears, so that's my reasoning. Okay. A woman stands at a drink table, quietly people watching. Can I touch her? <laughs> you got a death wish, Pepper? Well, I don't see why I shouldn't try and touch everyone. What? Why should I care about that? Keep that away from me. Well, let's just talk to them then, I suppose. Yes? What do you want? Hello, I'm looking for a person named Tomcat. What the hell? So you head right up to the chick with the ears? Because of course she'd have the cat name. I get it. I'm freaking believable. Um, I guess I did just assume, didn't I? Um, don't get your phone or not, I'm just asking around. I already asked everyone else. Pfft. Nice save, jerk. Listen, I'm cruising for cuties and I don't appreciate you blocking the view. I don't know where Tomcat is, so shove off. Okay. Well, let them know I'm looking for them if you see them. Yeah, alright, whatever, just get moving. Well, she is just darn rude. Okay, I guess you're Tomcat then. Hey there, I heard you were looking for me. What can I do for you? Are you Tomcat? The one and only. Although, I'd prefer it if you kept it a little quieter than you have been. I do my share of moseying on both sides of the law, if you know what I mean. Okay. Is that why that woman was giving me such a hard time? Nah, Jess is just a bit of a prickly pear. She'd probably give hell to just about anyone who wandered up and started bothering her with something. Don't matter what. To what do I owe the pleasure of our meeting here? A friend of mine, Hayden, has gone missing. We found a note saying he was going to meet you. If Hayden is missing? Well, that's sour news indeed. I see you got his little run with you, so I'll give you the benefit of the doubt for now. You know about me? And my creation? Hayden never mentioned your involvement to me. Sure thing, hun. I helped reprogram the back end of your OS so that the AI code Hayden wrote for you would interface properly with the network. I have a distressing lack of information on my own creation. Hayden never saw fit to inform me on what went into designing my programming. Is there anything else you can tell me? Not much more on that end. I didn't have much to do with your care AI routines, so I don't- Oh, sorry, core AI routines, so I can't really elaborate. As I mentioned before, sometimes the A and the O look very, very similar to me in this game. Sorry, dear. Anything else I can help with? Um... How did you know Hayden? 
Hayden and I met not long after my blackout ran out, when he hired me for my exp expertise in cracking the lips OS. It puzzled me at the time, since he's very sharp himself. He could have handled it himself. I think he just wanted someone working on it off the books. He ain't the most straightforward man. Okay, what was he working on? Mostly that little guy you got there. I'm sure he had his fingers in a lot of pies, but Turing is all I knew about. My computer runs on LipsOS. I didn't know ROMs did too. The Live Intelligence Processing System is the primary operating system old Parallax computers used to run on, but the company has since expanded it to make it especially useful for their ROMs. It's real heavy on learning algorithms, so it can tailor itself to each user's habits, and it functions through using a distributed mesh network for non-essential public files. Um, can you explain it like I'm a child? Actually, yes, I would very much appreciate that. I have no idea what's going on. That's a fancy way of saying all ROMs connect to all other ROMs within range, and they share any files amongst themselves that the user hasn't flagged as private. It's handy in dense population areas like Neo SF, since it can bypass regular telecom nodes to access the internet. Out in the sticks though, you're stuck connecting to regular old pipes. Yuck. Okay, do you know why he may have gone missing? I'm not real sure, he was super hush hush about his work on Turing and that might have made Parallax upset. They're working on their own projects, and I'm certain Hayden has some kind of intellectual property clause written into his contract with them. That would just mean he would get fired, maybe even sued, but I can't imagine they would disappear him. They ain't the CIA or anything. Okay, um... Tell us about yourself. Sure, you may have even heard of me in the news. About 10 years ago, I hacked into Parallax's main ROM servers. Caused one hell of a stink, if I do say so myself. People were arguing back and forth whether I was a kid genius or a malicious criminal. And myself an enforced net blackout for a few years, but I think it was worth it for the prestige. Okay. Uh, why hack into Parallax? I guess I did it to see if I could. I mean, Parallax is a mighty big target. Bigger than the government in many ways. With as many ROMs as they have on the market, they need some of the toughest darn security in the world. Okay, so what? Um, which was it, Kid Genius or Malicious Criminal? <laughs> I don't know. I didn't really do it to steal anything. I had to break an awful lot of eggs to crack my way in. I chalk it up to the exuberance of youth, and now I try to stay on the straight and narrow. Mostly. Sometimes. <laughs> I like him, he's cute. Um, what's the deal with the accent? No dear, I'm California born and raised. I read a lot of books during my mandated blackout and just happened to get into novels about down south. I'd like to imagine myself as a bit of a southern belle. Or maybe I just like having three walk-in closets full of clothes. <laughs> okay, so I guess let's ask what Jess's problem is. Ah, uh, don't you worry about Jess none. She just don't have a lot of patience when talking to genotypical folks like us. She's had to deal with a lot of awful pricks. Because, well, um, because she's a caustic jerk. I guess let's go because of the ears, because that's the thing that you would notice straight away. Well, that ain't the most delicate way of putting it. I'd leave her alone if I were you. You don't seem to be too well versed in hybrid issues, but that's something you might want to think about working on, especially if you plan on talking to Jess. She's sharp enough on her own, but she's got friends in low places if you catch my meaning. She owes me a favour or three, but I ain't sure I want to waste one pulling your foot on, out on, pulling your foot out your own rear, you hear? Sorry, I've struggled with that a bit. <laughs> How do you find Hayden then? I'm not really sure, hun, but I guess it might help if we knew why he w went missing in the first place. I'll stay here and ask around a bit. People know me, and they sure ain't gonna talk to a newbie like yourself. Why don't you ha hop back over to Hayden's place and grab the data cache out of his computer for me? I'll either be here or across the street getting some ramen. We can go over his research notes and see if we can't find a reason for his being vanished. Alright, I'll come back when I have the data cache. Good luck. Turing, you keep her out of trouble. 
Okay, so. Oh, I had to leave my drink in the bar. No, I don't want to leave my drink. I want to go back. I want to have my drink. Where's my drink? No, my drink. <laughs> I'm so sad. Right, well, I guess let's just leave then. <laughs> that, what a waste of a drink. Anyway, guys, um, this seems like it would be a good place to end the video. So if you guys have enjoyed, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more. And until next time, guys, goodbye.